Cole Palmer is a generational talent. I don't know how many more times I've got to say this. I said this as soon as he signed for Chelsea, he is going to be a superstar. Guardiola's biggest mistake he's made in recent years was letting him join that lot down the road in London. Chelsea, the game tonight was a fantastic advert for the Premier League. And one guy stole the show once again. Ice cold Palmer. Don't get me wrong. I dislike Chelsea more than any football club in the entire world. But when you can see that much bundles of ability, that much prospect, that much natural oozing source, you know, the composure of the guy in, in the stressful, in the pressured moments, he delivers. Make sure you go down, drop a like on the video if you haven't already. I have dropped the video on the channel already. Guardiola's biggest mistake is all about Cole Palmer if you want to go watch that. But Chelsea 4, Manchester United 3. Great advert for the Premier League and absolutely everything. The game started. Chelsea went 1-0 up in the fourth minute. A good start for Chelsea, to be fair. A lot of pressure on Chelsea tonight. I think if they would have lost, you know, it would be potch out galore from the Chelsea fans. Good goal, to be fair. Worked well down the right-hand side. Ball into Gallagher and he finishes uh, nicely. And then, you know, Chelsea go 2-0 up. That man, again, ice-cold Palmer from the penalty spot. Probably the best penalty taker in the Premier League right now. The big moments do not phase this guy. The the, the the stress of taking a penalty in the Premier League, but not only to take a penalty, not once, but twice in a game, and put the goalkeeper the, the wrong way both times in the pressured moments. In the, he, he is a big game player. He scored four goals against Manchester United this season. He scored against Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Arsenal. It does not matter the occasion. Cole Palmer keeps on delivering. Get this man to the Euros in an England shirt, ASAP. He is simply majestic. I'm running out of words to describe this man. He's so flipping good, right? And I just hate that he plays for Chelsea. He makes it 2-0 Chelsea, a very, very, very calm and composed penalty. And then after that, Man United really got back into the game. They, they I'm not going to lie, they did, you know? Garnacho had a very, very game, very, very, well, to be honest, other, other than the last five minutes of the game, Garnacho probably would have been man of the match. Took his goal, probably against the runner play nicely. Chelsea kind of folded a little bit. And then Man United shortly after that get a second. The ball, by the way, from Dallo, he had a nightmare game with Dallo, but the ball from him for Bruno Fernandes' header was out of this world. Probably whipped to the back post with pace. Bruno Fernandes gives Hoyland the chances. Look, you know, I'm going to get this. I'm going to make it 1-0. Uh, sorry, 2-2. No, sorry, 2. Yeah, 2-2 two, two at the time. Bruno Fernandes heads it in. Very, very clever header. And at half time, I thought Cole Palmer was bossing it, was, was by far the best player on the pitch of the first half. But it's a very, very even game. You wanted, If you're a neutral fan watching that, you know, you wanted that game to go on and on and on, end to end, like a ping pong, ping pong rally, tennis rally, whatever you want to call it. At half time, Man United come back out in the second half. Uh, around the 65th, 67th minute, something like that. Garnacho makes it 3-2 to Chelsea. Anthony, by the way, had Kukurea, that Spanish sideshow Bob, on absolute toast. Running down that right-hand side. Kukurea didn't know what day it was. And the pass for Garnacho's second goal genuinely is mind-blowing. Outside of the boot, whippage with pace, right into Garnacho's path, and he heads it and makes it 3-2 at the time to Manchester United. And up at that point, I was like, yep, Man United are going to see this out. But then what happens in the last 10 minutes of that game? It, it's incredible. Genuinely, it's absolutely incredible. Dallo brings down Madawake, who comes on. Potch actually made quite a few substitutions in that second half, I believe. You know, I think Diassi, Gusto, Casado, Gallagher and the Mudrick all went off, to, to my memory. But Cole Palmer gets a penalty. In the 95th minute, has the ball in his hand immediately, has to wait three or four minutes for the for VAR to mess around and take their time. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. What most players do, they'd knee slide down into the corner flag and celebrate the goal. No, 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 no. Carl Palmer, different mentality. Man City win mentality. This is a guy that's performed in big, big finals for Man City in the in the Super Cup against Sevilla, delivers a big, big goal. He goes, no, no, no. I'm not about that. Grabs the ball, runs back to the halfway line. Chelsea win it back quickly. 
drive the ball um, down the pitch, shot at Onana, goes out for a corner. Man United is sleeping. Corner plays short into Cole Palmer, hits the ball, deflects off of uh, McTominay. Who cares? Chelsea four, Manchester United three in the 101st minute. And look, for a neutral fan, it was unbelievable to watch. Cole Palmer makes it 4-3 to Chelsea in the 101st minute. Man United, well and truly in the mud. Well and truly not getting Champions League football now. They're nine points behind Spurs, my team, and 11 points behind Aston Villa. That puts Chelsea up to 10th. If they win their game in hand, Chelsea will go 8th. And Chelsea have got two games in hand over West Ham, and they're only two points away. Cole Palmer is single-handedly carrying Chelsea within a European place. Like, the guy is absolutely ridiculous. What's he got? 16 Premier League goals. He's just carrying them, you know. And it's a fantastic result if you're a Chelsea fan. The other game tonight, Liverpool 3, Sheffield United 1. As you'd expect, Liverpool absolutely dominated this game. I think they had something like 78% possession. I was wrong. 84% possession. Um, goal to get a, a very weird goal. I mean, goes back to the goalkeeper, boots it out, deflects off Darwin Nunes. Liverpool make it 1-0. I think that was around 15, 15th minute. And at that point, I'm like, Liverpool are just going to hammer them now. You know, a lot of pressure on Liverpool tonight. Arsenal won comfortably against Luton. Man City absolutely blew Aston Villa away with a Phil Foden masterclass. And you're like, do you know what? Liverpool have got to go out there. You could see the nerves in the fans. Very, very cagey atmosphere. Um, going to half-time 1-0, Liverpool absolutely dominated it. I think Sheffield United had one shot in the first half. And I think they had one corner in the first half. And Liverpool just looked very, very composed. You know, Conor Bradley made quite a few number of crosses in the first half. Bit disappointed with Salah. Maybe he was carrying a knock or whatever. But I think he came off early in the second half. I think it was around the... Uh, the 60th minute could have been before that. Yeah, it was bang on the 60th minute for Harvey Elliott. And then after that, Liverpool knocking on the door. And there's one place you don't want to be under the cosh at any stadium in the league, and it is Liverpool. But step forward, Alexis McAllister. This guy, Cole Palmer, Alexis McAllister and Declan Rice for me are the best signings of the of this season. And he absolutely stankoviched it. Top right corner, edge of the box, an absolute screamer. A worldy of a strike from Alexis McAllister. Like, uh, uh, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous goal. Liverpool make it 2-1, but they keep going, they keep going. It's a Jurgen Klopp mentality to go to the very, very end. Ball gets put into the box. Cody back, Gakpo gets a header in the 90th minute. Out of sight, out of mind. Liverpool three, Sheffield United one. And it puts Liverpool two points clear at the top with eight games remaining. And I'll tell you what, I'm I'm enjoying every single minute of this Premier League title race. I really am. It's got absolutely everything. You look forward to the weekend. Man United, Liverpool, Brighton versus Arsenal, Crystal Palace versus City. All three teams are away. But Liverpool have just got this grit and determination. I mean, it's it's unbelievable what they're doing in the Premier League right now. It genuinely is. All three teams, Liverpool have won 21 games and lost two all season, drawn seven. But tonight, it was about going out and getting the job done and looking forward to that Man United game. And you you, you expect probably Man United will want to bounce back. But I, I as I said, I've, and I've been saying, I'll say it once again, I think the Premier League title race goes down to one point. I think generally with one or two points that will win this title. And Liverpool had to win tonight. You know, I think Man City and Arsenal fans are probably licking their lips when it was currently 1-1. You know, and they'll they'll be looking at their, their remaining games with Man United away. If they can get through that and they can get through Aston Villa away on the last game, what was second to last game of the season, Liverpool, I think, win every other game. I think they beat Crystal Palace at home and Tottenham at home, other tough games. Merseyside derby, you never really know what's going to happen. But Alexis McAllister in that second half was absolutely balling out, pulling the strings, was by far the best player on the pitch, stepped up when his team needed it most and delivered a stupendous goal. Like, there comes a point in matches in Premier League title races where someone has got to grab the ball by the horns, grab the game by the scruff of the neck and drag you for a result. And Alexis McAllister is going under the radar. You've got to think, when, when midfielders got solved this summer, Kudus went for about 45 million euros. Kai Havertz went 65 million pounds. Cole Palmer around the 40 million mark. Liverpool got 
Alexis McAllister for £35 million. And they've completely transformed their midfield in one season with Soberslai, Gravenberch, Endo. But McAllister's been the shining light in that midfield. His defensive work goes unmatched. He's on the ball, final third passes. The amount of bangers he's scored this season, he genuinely is an absolute player. And I think deserves more credit from rival fans. And when you look at this right now, the goal difference, Arsenal's defence by, by far out of the three is the strongest. But there's two goals in it in terms of goals for between Arsenal and Liverpool. Man City have got, got to pull their finger out if they if they want to win this title. That doesn't matter how, how good they were last night, this Liverpool team is going to take some stopping, as well as Arsenal. If Arsenal want to win the title, they've got to be They've got to win every single game for the remainder of the season, Arsenal, to win that league. I think Liverpool could probably get away with dropping a point or two because I expect them in the big games to turn up. But look, two fantastic games we were treated to tonight. Let me know your thoughts on Palmer's performance and Alexis McAllister. And I will see you all soon. Thank you all for watching. I am